what I was talking about, the way I wanted to explain it, um, was ladies and gentlemen, so here we have two problems, right? They're not in y equals mx plus b form, are they? No. Now, the other method we learned how to do was solving using your x and y intercepts, correct? Mm -hmm. Plug x in for 0, solve for y, plug y, 0 for y, solve for x. You can do that. Um, I would just like to say that from my experience, a lot of times doing slope intercept though is going to be the best way to actually find the exact solution, um, especially when it's going to be a coordinate point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these both into slope intercept form. Okay. So to do that, I've got to isolate the y. So I'm going to subtract the x. So I write y equals 3 minus x. But I don't want to write y equals 3 minus x. I want it in slope intercept form, which is negative x plus 3. Here, I could subtract the x again and divide by negative 1. Instead, I'm actually just going to add the y to the other side. So I have x equals 1 plus y, then subtract the 1. So I have x minus, well, let's just write, yeah, let's just that. x minus 1 equals y. Then let's rewrite it so it's in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so now I just rewrote it, switched it around so it's in those forms. Is it cool? Okay, so now what I'd like you to do is let's graph it. So remember, guys, the y-intercept is the easiest thing. If anything, just plot two points for your y-intercept. One, two, three. Got that one? This one's at negative one. That's negative one, right? Not there. Does everybody understand how I found the y-intercept? That's at zero, three. 0, 3, 3, 0, 3, 3, right? I don't need to do that again. You guys got it. Hopefully. Maybe. So you find the y-intercept. That's where you graph. Now, my slope, I have a negative sign. Oh, what is that slope going to be, right? Remember, the slope, change in y over change of x. All I have is this. Well, what does that represent? That, hold on, that represents a negative 1. To write that as a ratio, we put it over 1. So that means I can go down 1 to the right 1. Down one to the right one. Down one to the right one, OK? My graph is horrible. looks like that. Here, I don't have a number in front, right? So this slope is going to be 1 over 1. So I start at negative 1. I go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. You can see they cross at 1, 2, up 1. So they cross at 2, comma 1 is your solution. Make sense? Yeah. OK. Don't walk in front of the camera. Have fun. Go to lunch. See you guys tomorrow.